Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie, and today I'm taking you on another adventure. We are in France again, very short to Paris, but we're gonna drive now. Uh, just slept in this hotel over here, and we're gonna drive to our first location of the day, first and only actually, and then back to Belgium again. But this one should be pretty amazing. So let's hop in the car and let's see what this one has to reveal for us. manner here in front of us beautiful mansion totally overgrown by now over the years that it's been abandoned it's beautiful from the outside literally amazing okay I think this is the entrance over here so let's hop inside and let's see what's left behind in here. Time isn't the main thing, it's the only thing. In this week's documentary, we will feature the astonishing home and the life of Mrs. Dolorie Marie. A very influential French woman who came from a fairly poor family. During her lifetime, she worked herself up as a lawyer working in a small firm, to eventually at the end of her life, working in the main court of Paris. great success in her career, she was able to purchase this astonishing villa for her and her family. And throughout the years, they lived a lavish lifestyle in this place. Now, many years have passed. The family seems to have disappeared from planet Earth. All their belongings have been left behind. And nobody seems to care about this wonderful place anymore. Today we will take you throughout it and show you the artifacts and history that's left behind in here. Let's go on an exquisite adventure. So hey everybody, welcome back to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie and today I'm taking you through a fantastic abandoned manor in the countryside of France. It's actually not the countryside because we are very close to Paris actually. And the woman that lived here, like I told you in the story, worked in the courts of Paris. Unfortunately, I don't know much about this place, but I'm eager to find out more while going through this manor with you guys. So we're gonna look through the documents, see who lived here and how these people lived and what their house looked like. I'm really excited for it, so let's waste no more time. Let's grab my backpack and let's head inside of the place. And of course, not to forget, always put on those gloves for protection, like that, like that. And now we're ready to explore this place. Okay, I'm sitting here literally in the middle of the woods, but you can see if I pan over there, you see the mansion between, to between the tree line. They even had this enormous backyard over here with trees totally overgrowing, overgrowing it. I, I really like the style of it. Typical French garden. Okay, let's go between here to this little hole. Wow, look at the garden here. <laughs> it's like a lush forest. It became a lush forest over the years that it's abandoned. I'm wondering how many years it is abandoned because it seems like quite some time by looking at the garden. 
Okay, this is the back side of the house. And the first thing I notice here are these wonderful tiles, hand painted probably. And also the style of the mansion is very unique. They got this exposed rock over here. Three stories high, even more tile on the wall. Wow, one more look at the outside before we go in. Okay, welcome inside of the house. Welcome inside of the basement of the house. It's probably not that interesting because it's used as a storage unit of the house, but either way, we will look through it and we will see if we can find out anything about these people when it was abandoned, looking at dates. Here they just put off their shoes when they came into the house. Some of their slippers are left behind. Things like that. Very normal things for a household. Paint cans that the man used to fix up the house. Even though these people were pretty wealthy, they still did a lot of things themselves. Jacket of his. Ooh, the first thing we end, in, uh, end up into is some sort of a wine cellar. We see lots of empty bottles of wine here on these racks. We are, of course, in, Par in France, short to Paris, and people over here consume a lot of, of wine, of course. Some coals on the ground. Might they have had a coal stove in this house? That might have been a possibility. Okay, but let's not bore you too much with this basement. There's not much to find out about these people in this basement. Here we have the washing area. Oh my God, I did not see that. Here's the kitchen of the house. Literally, there's a kitchen downstairs here. Wow. With everything, all the foods of them still left behind after those years. It's a good thing to look at the dates that we can find. This is 2014. Okay, and this is a pack of, of sauce. So let's assume two, three years it might have been. Yeah, so maybe 2011, 2012. This house might have been abandoned. Well, what's in here? I, I don't want to know. <laughs> Spaghetti stays along for a very long time. It stays good for a very long time. Okay. No. <laughs> Bad puzzle. There's a little cat in a box. Let's look at one more product. We got some maizena. This product and the expiration date on this one is 2007. Okay. That's interesting. Different dates. Maybe they didn't throw it away for a long time. And this is 2013. So we can safely assume around the year 2010, 2012, these people left behind this house forever. Still some dishes on the table of them. A fridge, a cooler, a freezer, an oven, even the last towel that they used and probably last dried their hands off is still hanging here. All the spider webs are totally covering it. And this window has been open for quite some time. You can see all the leaves in the sink over here that came from outside. <laughs> Not very interesting kitchen, but still we found out some great things about the people. Their washing room. And then we have the stairway that's gonna lead us into their household. So this is the grand front entrance of the house with a lantern hanging from the ceiling, presenting this hallway. I love the tinted glass that's in front of here. I can even get a glimpse of the outside. This one doesn't open up, unfortunately. Otherwise I could have shown you that side of the house. But what I find very interesting about this section of the house, you can probably already notice it is the electricity, the buildup of the electricity. And with that, you can also see the age of the house. Because when this house was constructed, it most likely did not facilitate any electricity. 
because it's all been added on later. You can see the light switches are added on, even the heating pipes that lead to the furnace downstairs have been added on. As you can see, <laughs> it's very interesting to see. Here we have a hall tree where they could hang up their coats when they came inside of the house and went out. And even here, we can see it. Everything, every light switch added on, even the sockets down there. <sighs> a wonderful spiraling staircase we have here in front of us that leads to the top floors of the house and that we will venture up later in this video. Wow, this one is amazing. One little drawer here in the hallway. Some things in there. Little tickets from the Intermarché. Some items that they bought. But not much to see in there. Okay, let's head over. Oh my God, this room is completely overthrown. Not much left in it, unfortunately. Except for this brass chandelier that we have hanging here. I love the wallpaper as well. And now we enter into the living area. And this definitely matches the style of the house from the outside. It has like this typical Frenchy German, North Frenchy uh, German style of household with lots of wood worked into the walls, exposed stone, and inside of the house, of course, a lot, a lot of wood worked into the hall, into the walls. Even inside of this room, you can see that the light sockets have been added on later. It's like this different type of wood that they put on top of there. And even the ones down there. Wow. But have a look at this enormous dining table with a very, very big chandelier hanging above it. Fully made of iron. Wow. Before I go through this room, I want to give you this overview of it. Look at the size of this place. And I assume a lot of people must have lived here. Maybe Marie and her husband had a lot of children because we can see eight chairs around the table. Wow, and it's still made after those years. These wonderful plates. There's no signature on them. These are very different types of chairs than I normally find in France. Normally you would also always find upholstery chairs, but this one is like a woven wood style, a bamboo woven wood style. A sauce dispenser here at the end of the table. Even a checkers board beneath there. <laughs> and I can see some food here in this one. These seem like they are olives. Wow, that's dirty. <laughs> and then presenting the table in the middle is the chandelier used to be holding candles but later on you can see they added on cables for the lamps and made it into an electric lamp so it's probably a very very old piece i love the surrounding area of the dining room we have the fireplace over here still some wood in there Glass blown. This is literally, no, this is completely made out of glass. Handmade, probably it's not blown, I think, but wonderful craftsmanship. I like this one as well. That's the French flag waving around on the ship. Beautiful fireplace. And down there, we have a bed warmer. You would put coals in it and you could put it at the end of your bed in the evening. A little sitting bench where you could probably play checker. Oh, and this trolley is also amazing. You could take it out there, you use it in hotels to uh, bring food to the room. Wow. Bottle of liquor. Fascinating. Let's also look in here. Oh, 
Oh, this is, an, this is a food elevator. Look at this. That's how rich these people were. You could pull it up like this and bring the food to the top floor. Let's try that out. Oh, no, it seems to be stuck right now. It's not functioning that well anymore, but wow. <laughs> they had a food elevator inside of their house. That's totally amazing. Let's close that up neatly. Let's go further with the exploration. Unfortunately, not much pictures of these people found yet. We have some vintage pictures, but they are probably not of the people themselves. In here we have glasses and all types of different things that they needed when they threw a dinner party. Love this. These plates over here. They seem like Chinese, Asian plates. They have the Chinese description on them. Completely with a mandarin. And then we have this side of the dining room. <laughs> and have a look at this, everybody. There's an enormous wing piano in the middle of the room. Wow, it's a long time ago since I found another wing piano. Let's see if this one opens up. Whoa. The inside still looks magnificent. Let's close that up very carefully. It's pretty heavy. Show you the front of it. Esracht, it says on there. It still plays. Wow. An upholstery chair in front of it. And here we have some old books left behind. Probably the notes that they played, the music that they played on the piano. Of course they are. This little stand was used to store all the music notes for the piano. They would be playing around all the evening long on this wonderful thing. Yep, let's put that back neatly on the stand. This was just a little sitting area, I suppose. And a lot of things have already been taken from the walls. Maybe the memories have been taken outside. And I actually kind of like that because seeing memories inside of a place that's very sad. Those belong to somebody. Royan, Henry Royan. Wonderful painting. Oh no, this is like a sketch made with a pencil. Okay, and in the middle of the room, we have this copper chandelier hanging. Another enormous checker or chessboard. Yes, this is a checkerboard. I'm looking how I can open it up. There's this little latch over here that opens up. Wow. <laughs> they must have loved checkers. Let's see what room we end up in here. So much different things inside of this place. <laughs> it's just crazy over there. The windows all the way open. People can just wander inside of here. And we have a spinning wheel in this room. I can see over here. A quite nice one, actually. Really love that piece. Lots of knobs on the floor. Buttons for shirts. Stuff like that. Record player, left here. Okay, everybody, I'm very excited to take you all now upstairs and show you that beautiful top floor that I was talking about. Okay, I'm, I'm really excited to go up the stairway. It's a very fancy one. Beautiful crafted wood leading to a top floor. See a little bridge here on the wall. We have arrived on the second floor. And the first thing I see over here is this telephone. 
wow police pompier so the police you can call and the ad uh, fireman you can call very easily very old device left here and i'm always wondering what this horn is used for that's hanging here from the side of the telephone was it to listen together with somebody to a telephone call to a group call or something like that i'm too young to 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 know things like that so tell me in the comment section please a bathroom a very french toilet left in here with the reservoir on top Beautiful piece. Okay, let's head into the first bedroom. And even up here, you can see it. The electricity sockets are on the outside, not worked into the walls. That's how old this place is. Okay. We have the first bedroom over here, everybody. Have a look at this wonderful room. I really adore it. The bed is still made after all those years, probably 10 to 11 years of abandonment. Still, the blankets on there, the pillows at the end, it's just fascinating. A little book stand where you could put some magazines down below, and a lamp to read with up here. We have this box. And a few artifacts that they collected around the world. A clock face, a mechanical clock face. This looks like more like a toy or something like that. Maybe it's a puzzle. Hmm, interesting piece of furniture. And then we have the marble fireplace. Of course, back in the day, people didn't have central heating. They didn't have electricity even. So, uh, that's why they put fireplaces in each and every single room of this place. And this is most definitely a child's room. Or used to be a child's room because we can see these dolls here at the fireplace. Love the style of it. Marble white. A little suitcase right next to it. And then this child's drawer. Antique child's drawer that's now been broken very unfortunate a big mirror above it and he or she even had like a little sink area with a medical cabinet and everything inside of her room and all of these things even the toothpaste of the person still left behind you can pass away but the things you own in life will stay on this planet forever. That's just how it goes. Even the toothbrush and the bars of soap that they last used are still here. Wow. And you don't see this often in France, but here they have a cold faucet and a what hot faucet. F stands for foie. And C stands for show. Show is hot and froid is cold. A little French lesson for everybody who's watching today. Here we have a closet still filled with women's clothes. But these look not like clothes from a child. These might have been clothes from Marie. She might have stored them after their children moved out of the house. <laughs> and look at this vacuum that's down here. Very fascinating, fascinating. And one more thing about the hallway. When you look at it, it just looks very bald and doesn't look very fancy like the outside or the rooms that we see in this place. It more looks like a dormitory, I should say. <laughs> With the mirrors above here, they remind me of the classroom I used to be in when I was younger. And yeah, let's, let's just go into the rooms because they are way more beautiful. And here we enter into another bedroom. And I assume this might have also been a child's bedroom. It's not that big. And uh, maybe a boy's bedroom. Seems a bit more like a boy's bedroom. There are no dolls left behind. 
but we do have a hair dryer hanging here. So I'm again not completely sure about the use of these rooms and for who they were. Wow. We have a painting above here of a marine life. Again, another sink in this bedroom. Like you see, every single bedroom had its own sink to do some washing up at night. Little medical cabinet to the side here. Let's look what kind of clothes are left behind in this room. Oh, there are no clothes. These are just bed linen that they have left in this room. Okay. Most likely when the children moved out, they also took all their clothes with them. They didn't leave anything behind. I love these little racks where you could neatly hang up your clothes at night. I should get one of those. Does one of my subscribers still use one of these uh, racks to hang up their clothes? And what is the exact name for the piece of furniture that we see here in front of us? I think it's a very fascinating piece of furniture. And then here we have like the black marble stove. Again, another stove in this room, like I told you. A gold mirror above there. And then we have the bed itself, also still made. Oh, these glasses we see over here, they are very fascinating. Very small glasses. I really love the style of them. And we put them in this box. Oh, we got a picture. Look at this, everybody. Studio. Oh, this is made in Paris, this picture. So this might have been one of the children. It's most likely not Maria herself, because these pictures just look too modern. But uh, yeah, we can see her posing very religiously. A few crosses of Jesus Christ on the wall. Then we have this sort of bookshelf here in the corner of the room. With a hat above there. Wow. <laughs> what a place everybody, I really love it. Uh, I'm not even seen the best room yet. I was just looking here in the hallway and I have this little hanger with a brush on there. Maybe to clean off their shoes or, if, or something like that before they went out of the house. Very interesting. And we have one more room. This is the room with the mirrors above there that remind me of a dormitory. Uh, it's a very small room, most likely again for a child. Uh, again, this one has also a sink in there, so all the facilities are there. But you can see how small that this room is. Or maybe it was just a guest bedroom. And this one does have a heater inside of the room, unlike the other rooms. Interesting. Okay, still made bed in this room as well. After all those years, every time that keeps amazing me. And then we have this little nightstand with a marble top, some books that I read, and everything's still on there. Wow. Now it's time to go to the master bedroom. Yes, everybody, in front of me is the most amazing room of this place. I'm really excited to open that door and reveal the room to you all. Because this is the master bedroom of the place. The white doorknob. Oh, yes, I thought it was closed, but <laughs> it's open. Leads us inside of an amazing manor bedroom. Wow, queen size bed in the middle. Wonderful wallpaper chandelier hanging from the ceiling true authentic french room i really love this one <laughs> wow look at the style even the paintings here on the wall represent this room they are totally falling apart of course but look at the style of them they depict a vintage french life ladies sitting in the garden a man playing a song for them here, Marie and Marie Doline. Here we can see it. University of Paris, 1941, 1942. Doline Marie studied there and became a lawyer. We even have 
some sort of medical card of her. Wow. And <laughs> her fake teeth are also still left here. Isn't that just crazy? A little novel about the French car guide for the French car. Maybe it was a driver's guide or something like that. We can see some maps in here of Paris and the surrounding areas. And some jewelry boxes. Wow. With still some necklaces and bracelets inside of there. A little lion on the front of this one. Ooh. There's still some jewelry inside of here. Very fascinating. I love the nightstand. It's in the same style as the bed we are seeing in front of us. Very, very big mattress, very big. Still made bed, like all the other ones inside of this house. The crown of the bed, very uniquely designed. Ahead of her, still left. This you were every single day, probably. This was our style. We have a magazine from 1953 left here. A religious magazine. And on this little bench in front of it, they put on their clothes in the morning, their shoes and everything. And then above the bed, we have this crystallier, chandelier, presenting the room, making it beautiful. Another nightstand with a marble top and another painting on the wall. Our lush French lifestyle. I love the wallpaper. And again, in this room, we also have a fireplace. And this one is again a marble white fireplace with a military man depicted on here. This might have been our husband. You can see a very big mustache. <laughs> Corporal or general or something like that. He used to be. A red upholstery chair right next to it. And over here we have an enormous closet. Very fine. Enormous closet. That's it's again the same style as the bed itself. Look at all the bed linen inside of here. This one doesn't open anymore. They made up the bed with this. Even like above the keyhole, there is a design, a flower pot, every single detail of this closet has been thought of. And we have one little bed in the corner of the room, maybe for a child that even slept inside of this room. More jewelry boxes. Let's open this one up. A very big medical cabinet. Look at this. All these artifacts in here. I can remember having a camera like this with a film roll. <laughs> my mother gave it to me when I went on my first trip with school and it had like 30 pictures you could take with it. And then you had to go to the store, develop it. Oh, those times. Probably everybody watching this video can remember a time like that. Now it's all so easy. Lots of bottles still left in here. Very fancy. Little display cabinet. And then I think we have the walk-in closet with the bathroom, am I right? Yes, I am right. Look at this. A freestanding bath with paws underneath. You don't see these very often. I really love these baths, bath tubs. And you can see that Mrs. Marie at the end of her life was probably very old living in this place. She had this bench to sit on and to wash herself in a convenient way. And bottles of shampoo are still left in here. Dove. Wow. 
even a bit the down there. And yet again, another sink. With the two faucets, the water doesn't run in this place anymore. Oh, it does. No, the hot water doesn't run anymore. But the cold water still functions. No way. <laughs> I didn't test it in the other rooms. But this, everybody, is France. That's how things go over here. Nothing gets cut off. A bathroom hanging here. And then these very huge built-in closets, probably still full with clothes of her. And yes, they are. Her jackets, her purses, even the costumes of our man are still in here. Wow. They look like very expensive clothes. Now it's time, everybody, to go upstairs and check out the last floor of this house. Time to go up to the last floor, everybody. I'm really excited to go up here. Ooh, I see a phone book left here to the side. And this was probably used with the telephone here on the side. Okay, let's go up there. Hmm. Okay, it's more like an attic space. Oh, I have to be careful. There's a hole in the floor. What do we have over here? A not very interesting room. One thing that I, that I like is this poster of a mountain. I was looking at it. It's too sharp to be Mount Everest, but it's probably in the French Alps somewhere. Hmm. It's like a storage area up here. I love the windows to the side. They are tinted, as you can see. Does the water still work up here as well? This one seems to be cut off. Okay. Lots and lots of books left here from the children. As you can see, Dimbo. Bimbo, a child script, very vintage child script, the paint is completely peeling off. Still some blankets in there. A black dress. to hang up all the blankets to dry it was that little laundry room and they even had this vacuum left here wow let's see if we have anything more on this side a few more rooms left behind again a very big closet completely filled with bed linen and this one oh i love it we have like this little suitcase that's filled with letters of them you find them so often in abandoned places and here we can see the first memories of the people you have these pictures of three boys on the field these might have been her children we also see a girl in the middle a man hanging out of a train Smoking a cigarette. Wow, handwritten letters. I love to go through suitcases like this. Wow, those are some true memories from the ancient times. A box completely filled. With film rolls. Lots of storage up here. 
And then we have one last room. That seems kind of interesting actually, up here. Wow, there's so many things to look at in this room. The first thing I notice is this classroom picture of all these girls in uniform. And this is made in Paris, it says here on the side. Maybe this is Marie, her class picture. Who knows? There's lots of books down there. Two beautiful singer sewing machines. This one is a singer. Oh no, this is not a singer. This is a mascot. Mascot sewing machine and a singer sewing machine. Right there. This one is worked into the bench. A military outfit, like I told you, I think the husband of this house was a military guy. He worked in the military. You can see his uniform still here. The buttons on there. Wow. Serving the country of France. And she, as well as a lawyer, they were truly a power couple together. A big map. I think this is the map of... No, I'm, I'm not sure about this. It looks like Greece at first, but I'm not sure about where this map is. Wow, this enormous lamp here to the side on this table. It's stuck to the table, actually. So it's made into the table. Wow. And then we have this, this desk where I probably did some work. You can see some pencils left here. A key for somewhere in the house. This is the picture. Wow, look at this. This is the jacket that we're looking at. Oh no, it's not exactly the same jacket. It's not exactly the same. The top of it is different. I thought it was the same jacket. Very cool. We have a stamp. And a bench to work at. Back there. And over here we have this enormous display bookcase. With hundreds of books in there. That fell down, excuse me very much. Oh well, everybody, I found one more interesting thing over here. And that's here in the corner of the hallway upstairs. We have this some sort of rock collection that is on display here. Of who might this have been? Very interesting. They don't seem like very special rocks to me, but I'm of course not <laughs> educated on rocks at all. We even have a newspaper left here to the side of it. Look at this. Le Monde Dimanche. This from is from August 1980. Marrakesh in Morocco they are talking about here. Very interesting find. I was just explaining you in the beginning of the video about this elevator that's installed in here. And I thought it went up to the, to the top floor, but it actually go, goes down to the basement. That's very logical because there's the kitchen. So I want to bring it down and show you in the basement how that looks like. So with this rope, we can bring the elevator down. <laughs> okay, it's a very tedious job. It's not powered or anything. I think it's almost there. Yes. Let's go to the basement right now. Let me show you how that looks like. Looks like. Let's go. 
Follow me to the basement. Okay, I've not seen it yet, but it should be, oh yeah, in the kitchen actually. Of course. <laughs> Here it is. Wow, look at that. Here the elevator comes, comes down. Hold a little bit further. Very unique mechanism. You can see just the rope spanning around all the way. And that's the food elevator that these people used. Okay guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this week's video. What a fascinating home to explore and I really loved going through the story of these people. If you liked this week's video, please like it, subscribe to the channel if you're new and write me a nice comment. That would be very lovely. There's also a link in the description for Patreon. There you can support the channel and help us out going around the world filming these amazing abandoned places. Bye bye, I love you very much and I'll see you next week. Another epic adventure.